I am extremely uh, proud of the excellent work that has been done so far by uh, the, the team, the survivor of the team, <coughs> led by uh, Ambassador Miriam Katagun, the Honorable Minister. I think that one of the most important things about what we've tried to do here is first to show that it is possible to have a scheme that will be executed properly and executed transparently. Uh, and this is, in many senses, a template for doing uh, bigger interventions in the education sector and bigger interventions in other sectors. So we're all extremely proud of, the, of, of how this has turned out and also the fact that we can you know, uh, talk to you directly and you can give us a feedback on uh, what uh, you experienced in the whole process of getting this funds to you. So I, I want to congratulate uh, the, uh, the, step, the survival fund team uh, led by Ambassador Katagun and, um, and the uh, coordinator, uh, Mr. Tola Johnson, and all the other members of the team. But having said this, I also want to say, you know, I also want to thank and uh, thank you very much all of uh, the owners of schools and uh, representatives of schools that are here today. Uh, I think that one of the very important things for us when uh, the economic sustainability plan was being uh, designed was that we wanted to look at certain critical sectors of the Nigerian economy that required intervention in the wake of uh, the, the fallouts of the COVID-19 pandemic. We, of course, recognize that schools were vital uh, in this whole arena, and that private schools in particular, because as you know, of course, public schools, uh, teachers in public schools continued to be paid uh, while the uh, pandemic, uh, while, while the lockdowns were taking place and the pandemic was raging. But uh, private school proprietors and private school teachers obviously were in a much uh, more difficult place than most uh, businesses, just given the very uh, nature of the business. So we thought that it would be important to support uh, private school teachers and to do so directly, which is what we tried to do. Uh, so we then ensured that we had a platform, you know, by which, from which we could enumerate and pay uh, teachers in private schools directly. Now, it would have been, of course, uh, uh, Mr. President's best, um, what would have been best for him, in his own opinion, would have been to pay every private school teacher in Nigeria. But obviously the cost of doing that is so humongous that would have been in, would have been in very, very dire straits. So we've tried uh, to rationalize this as much as possible. But I think that the success of the scheme so far is bound to you know, lead to future interventions. It may not be uh, this type of intervention, but there certainly will be other interventions. And the fact that we've been able to enumerate, we know where you are, we know that you exist, and that you're actually uh, providing an important service, uh, the education of children. I think that that in itself, uh, is a good enough um, uh, it's a good enough reason for us to think of other schemes and other ways by which we could make uh, uh, the, the work of uh, school proprietors easier and uh, make the lives of teachers uh, better. It's possible, I think, using platforms you know such as have been created to even uh, uh, probably send educational materials, useful, uh, uh, useful information from, from government, from the Ministry of Education, and useful information from other parts of the world. There's so much that can be done because uh, of, the, of this platform that's now been opened. And I would also want to say that one of the very important takeaways for me from this meeting is that it is then possible for us to hold future meetings, yeah, such as we have uh, done today. 
I see that there are people from as far away as uh, Yobe State, uh, River State, you know, uh, there's uh, from Lagos State, there are so many uh, uh, from different uh, states of the, of the Federation of Nigeria. So I think that this is really exciting. And, uh, it just shows us what the possibilities are. Uh, we had someone from Abia State who spoke a few minutes ago, Bono State, you know, Abuja, I have Kano, you know, so it's, it's, it's incredible what um, is possible if uh, we're able to maintain these kinds of um, platforms and interactions. So again, just to thank you very much. Uh, the feedback has been excellent. I'm very happy to hear that most people have received uh, their, uh, their, their received their funds, and this is you know uh, evidence of the fact that the work is being done and that it's being done seriously and transparently. I'm sure that by the time I report back to Mr. President about uh, the excellent work that has been done and the reception and then your feedback, uh, I'm sure that it will uh, encourage him to look at uh, more ways of, uh, of uh, being useful to uh, the education sector, especially private education. So just to say thank you again and uh, to wish you well and to let you know that uh, we're open to whatever ideas and suggestions you have. And I'm sure that the Secretariat will keep this uh, channel open so that we can interact in the future and exchange ideas and, and thoughts. Thank you very much.